Bangkok is a megalopolis prone to flooding. Many areas across the developing world are in the same situation, and climate change makes things even worse. According to the Asia-Pacific Disaster Report 2015, developments in forecasting are critical to monitor hazards, but reliable weather forecasts need more than temperature and air pressure data. Dust particles are in fact key to raindrop formation, because they absorb moisture until it falls as rain. Air pollution dust affects weather patterns in the same way, but as it may come from different pollutants, it absorbs moisture with variable rates. For this reason, researchers in Bangkok have built a robot that gathers and analyzes data about this peculiar dust. If we can make it forecast for next month or next three months, it should give us the time to prepare everything to prevent us from the disaster, the rain or the flood or something like that. Dust particles often float above 100 meters from the ground. Researchers cannot use a tube to reach that height, because during the sampling process, some particles would stick to the inner part of it, affecting the accuracy of the measurements. On top of that, moving the equipment rather than humans is quicker, easier and safer. We have to use some kind of thing to move our equipment to the place that we would like to measure in this project, 120, 75 and 30 meters from the ground. So the robot will move our equipment to that level to collect the sample and bring it down to analyze the chemical composition in there. Researchers analyze data about gases, meteorological conditions and composition of the dust particles. After we finish our analysis, we'll send the data to the Institute of Hydrological Agriculture Informatics Department. And after that, we'll use this data to adjust the weather forecast model to be on the real characteristic of the area. That should give us the effective result from the weather forecast model. This project was launched last February, and the impact of this robot on forecasts will be available in the next years. But researchers at Kazarsart University are confident that it will improve their accuracy. The project will inform research into an open field of how aerosols affect health and how aerosols affect the climate through cloud microphysics. The project in Bangkok is very important because it represents a new way of monitoring aerosols in situ. Much of our data at the moment, which is in situ, merely monitors total aerosol depth. That's how much aerosol you have in a column. There's very little information about the structure in the boundary layer. These robots are a low-cost way of actually monitoring the aerosol at various height levels above the ground to try and understand how turbulence redistributes the aerosols. So it seems to be a, an extremely important step forward for having a systematic measurement of aerosols, which is both reliable but low cost. One of the aspects that seems to be novel is the fact that the measurement mechanism is automated. And so it seems that once the equipment costs have been faced and met, the system needs a very low level of maintenance, a very low level of human intervention, and that means that it's going to be easy to maintain over a long period of time. Often in situ measurements, the greatest cost is not the actual equipment itself, but it's the human interventions that are needed to take the measurements and to maintain the equipment. Low cost measurements are extremely important because it means that it's a measurement source which is sustainable. There's always pressure on funding, and so it's extremely important that any new measurement is low cost and reliable such that it can be extended out into the future and it doesn't merely represent a spot measurement for a few months. So we can look at not just variability from day to day, but also look at trends which are important both in the context of climate change but also in the context of ever-increasing urbanisation.